So hello, my name is Tommy and I'll be um, talking about Stop Motion Studio. It's an app that you can use to make stop motion films. Um, okay. So these are the contents that we'll be going through. What is Stop Motion Studio? Where to access? Pros and cons? Features of the app? How to make a video? Stop Motion Studio Pro? And alternative programs. So what is Stop Motion Studio? Stop Motion Studio is an app that allows you to create stop motion films, a type of movie making that uses frame by frame pictures to give a feeling of movement. It has a free version and a pro version. This is the free version that you can get. Um, where to access? Stop Motion Studio can be installed on Android and Apple smartphones and tablets for free. The app is also available on laptops, but it must be purchased for $9.99 in US dollars or $12.79 in Canadian dollars on the Windows Store app, or Windows Store or Mac App Store. Pros and cons. For the pros of Stop Motion Studio, the mobile app for phone and tablets is free. It's simple to use Stop Motion Studio, and Stop Motion Studio is also available on a lot of operating systems, Windows, Android, and iOS. Cons, a lot of good features are hidden by the paid version which is pro. It's mostly recommended to do the editing on a computer, but the computer version is paid. So if you can only use a uh, phone, that's mainly your option there. Uh, features, this is what you'd be greeted with when you open the app. This is your home button, the files, and yeah. Stop Motion Studio has a few features that will help you out the moment you access the application. These features are the home screen, which shows you your mostly recently edited movie and has an advertisement for premium. This is the files. It shows you all of your movies that you made, which can be sorted by name, data modified, and date, date created, duration, and frames. This is the manual screen. It provides you with tutorials that you should watch if you're not sure what to do. It's very helpful and it can lead to a successful movie. This is the premium feature. If you only have the free version of the app, then it will pop up as an advertisement, encouraging you to buy it to unlock more features. This is the import feature. It allows you to import videos from your device files if you've um, taken a video from your uh, camera on your phone or device. This is the settings. It allows you to play around with your phone for how the movie will appear before it is edited. This is what um, the app will look like once you are beginning to make a film. Film. <clears throat> when making a stop motion film, these options will appear to your right and left. The air, this arrow here brings you back to the home screen which was shown a couple pages before. This is the mic. It's the voiceover system, allowing you to record your own voice for the film. The plus is how you would add images, audio credits, and et cetera. As mentioned before, this is a setting mode, which allows you to tinker with the app for your movie. When you press the black rectangle icon at the bottom, which is this, it will reveal more editing options. These are the some, uh, half of the options shown when you click on the black rectangle icon. Send camera to the end. It moves the selected frame to the end. Pause chooses how many times a frame will pause. Audio it adds in audios that you can put in from from gallery and like your microphone speaker. Edit it allows you to draw on a frame, put text, shapes, backgrounds, or faces on a frame. This, most of these options are only for pro. And this is erase. It removes an element. Merge. It merges the chosen frames that you've selected. Um, this is a pro option, though. And the last half, select. It allows you to select frames that you can use for um, merge, which was mentioned. And, but this is only a pro feature. 
it cuts the chosen frame. It's possible to cover it though, if you undo it. Copy, it, this copies the chosen frame that you selected. Paste, it prints out the chosen frame. Reverse, it reverses in action. So if you're making an edit, but you messed up, you can click on reverse to undo that edit. Or if you deleted the uh, frame, then you can undo it to get it back. The, this is delete, it deletes the chosen frame, but it cannot be recovered. At each show, this is what you'll see when you click on the gears when making a film, which is this icon. So these are the options. This will change how fast the film will go. So if you go like, make it so it goes two times speed, it will go faster by like two, but yeah. This, this triangle chooses how you would like to fade in or fade out. This rectangle with the arrows changes the ratio of the film. This square changes the foreground. Most of these are pro op options though. This is to change or choose a filter. Most of these options that you can work with are pro though. So you're only given a select few. This is how you, this is to change the quality of the film. Um, options like H high quality, 4K and raw are available through pro, pro only though. The C2 button is the option to play the last frames of the video. Have a play, have a pause at the end of the video and option to save where you're at before closing the app. This is what you'll see when you click on the camera icon and then the three lines. So this is the camera icon and this is the three lines. These are the features you can tinker with when you click on the triple lines when taking a, while taking a photo. This camera is chose, you can choose if you'll take a photo with the front or back camera on your phone or tablet or laptop. The M is the options for camera. It auto adjusts on its own. Auto adjusts on its own. Manual has you do all, this, all the settings yourself. AL and P have more settings than auto, but less than M. This is to adjust the brightness on your frames when you're taking, on your, when you're taking your photo. And this is the options for white balance. These, this one is to change the shutter speed, the exposure to light. This is to adjust your zoom in and zoom out when you're taking a photo. This is the green screen, screen, screen filter, sorry about that, but this is only available on the Pro. This is to rotate horizontally, vertically, or 180 degrees for the frame. Stop Motion Studio Pro. The premium version of Stop Motion Studio, known as Pro, is a one-time payment of $4.99 in US dollars, $6.99 in Canadian dollars on mobile, de mobile devices, or $9.99 in United States dollars, or $12.79 in Canadian dollars on computers. So this is a listing of the options that you can, that you have once you get pro. Remote camera lets you use your phone as a remote for a, a tablet. It also allows you green screen and more background choices. It also allows availability to add pre-made titles, credits, and vote and speech bubbles. You can import images, audios, clips, and files. It allows access to H high quality and 4K quality. You have more op options for filters and foregrounds. When editing, you can now add faces, backgrounds, shapes, text, draw, and erase frames on frames. Sorry. Alternative programs. One of these alternative programs is Q Stop Motion. It is supported for Linux, Linux, and Windows. It's free. It's free, easy to use, and gets to the point quickly. Unfortunately, Q Stop Motion seems to have stopped getting updates for about a year. The next one is iMotion. It's only available on iOS. So iPhones, iPad, yeah. It's free, simpler, and easier to use than Q Stop Motion and also Stop Motion Studios. iMotion has hardly any editing features which, which can make your videos look a bit simpler and also plain than the other programs. The next one is Filmora. It's supported on Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. It's free to use. 
and provides tutorials for beginners. It has a watermark that can get in the way and limited options for headers and titles as well when you're editing. A couple features are hidden behind the page description like Stop Motion Studio Pro. Okay, so this is the live demo. Okay, so this is what you can click. Let me go to Stop Motion on the home screen, files, and yep. So when you're going to make your first movie, you click New Movie. And it has all these options. And it'll it's supposed to start with your um, your back camera. So if you want to change that, it, it's, it's right. yeah, it's over here. You have the option to use the back camera or the front camera. Which I'm showing if I click here, it will show the top, which is my roof, ceiling. Now front, rear. Oh, sorry. Ugly. Let me just get rid of this. Sorry about that. So when you get to the camera, you can option when you camera at something. I don't have anything really interesting to use, so um, I just have to use this toy thing. <laughs> so the first thing you do is click the circle that you see at your right. When you click on it, it takes a photo, which is right here. This one. Okay, I'm back to this. Now you can take photos. So I'll just turn a little bit to the left. Turn to the left again. Sorry, I have shaky hands, so it's probably gonna not look as nice. I'll return the full 360. And now um, you also have the options to change, make a timer. Um, this is like, you have like, if, depending on how many seconds you put, if you have once, if you put one, you have like a second before it takes a photo. Yeah. Um, okay, so back to this. Now you can press the, uh, the triangle and you'll play the, the uh, what you made. So this is just a turning. Um, it's the quality playback. So only put the last frame. Oh, sorry, that's not it. Um, good. Um, please zoom in, zoom out. So, so if I like 2.0, it zooms in. And I can have it go zoom out, zoom out a little. Until it's back to normal. Chat, sorry about that. All right, so if I show, yeah. Um, I think that's about it I should show. So um, thanks for listening. If you're interested in this lesson with a cyber seniors mentor, you can go to www.cyberseniors.org or call this number 1-844-217-3057 to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone appointment or web session. We also host weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern time zone on Thursdays.